founder and the president of the Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries, Mwanawangu uh, uh, Prophet Walter Makaya. Kuti... Kuno kuchech awa kuimba zoku politics. Saka muare gere zonyi. In absentia, Vice President, Honorable General Retired, Dr. C. Gillian Chwenga. In absentia also, Vice President, Honorable Colonel Retired, KCD Mohadi. Our National Chairman of ZANPF and Minister of Defense, Honorable OCZ Mchinguri Kashiri. The Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution, Harare Metropolitan Province, Honorable Charles Tavengwa. My Minister of Sport, Recreation, Arts and Culture, Dr. Case Coventry and uh, Deputy Minister. Other Honorable Ministers who are here, the Chief Secretary to the present Cabinet has represented His Worship, the Mayor of Harare, Councillor El Chitengu, Senior Government Officials who are here, Distinguished Guests, Members of the Congregation, Ladies and gentlemen, maybe I have a guy I want to I state <laughs> No, Ziva is very persistent. Now, I hope what to be No kuti zanda bona pa no dance na mozizi yuko tuziri muno. Mukoma na wuyo ane fungwa ziri mbere zokuti ek. Asa ni asu zaku nde zake kana zama imakai. And I want up and up, and I said, I was able to find this rappers. I can knock up a die. Sagan no fara put the Catambira, Coca, Cavacandita. Quand is our ramas is so good tea, Tineva and Winica. 
Bano Zatisa. Our philosophy that Nika Inova Kwanebe Nevaj. Iko Tongba Nebe Nevaj. Iko Namatirwa Nebe Nevaj. Ndisu Venevaj. Hallelujah. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to have been invited to preside over this occasion, making the official opening of this 5,000-seater state-of-the-art Hat Stadium. Saka. Pakati Dara no Koka Muzo Sara five five thousand sister stadium waterfalls. Dagamo Sekaram Dumbu Could ne Angawaka was state of the art Yoba Kwaku waterfalls. Ah Sukuti Vana Uba Peshungu Chero Chavan and Gavai touch the white very kupi unoint. Kwa pasiba. So I must highlight that when Prophet Magaya came to see me at the State House to invite me to open this facility, I asked him twice to check if what I was seeing in the pictures was really on the ground. Now that I've toured the infrastructure, I'm truly impressed. Well done. Well done, well done, Comrade Magaya. Ah, sorry. That would comrade Ganda Jaira with Comrade. As soon as one's comrade, this is revolutionary what you are doing. You have done a great job for your country. I therefore extend my hearty congratulations to the founder of Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries, Prophet Walter Magaya, together with the congregants of the church for completing this impressive facility. Makorokoto and Shop. Tino Sungir wa kukuza basaraka naka kudai se urumende. In the Bible, we are going to put my position in the Bible. It's not even in the Bible. In the Bible, first Timothy Chapter 4, verse 8 says, and I quote, Physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Mozo no vramawa kumba, mbwone kuti andinyepi. Hence, through this facility, the prophetic healing and deliverance ministries, which in 2012 started with only 45 worshippers, has appropriately blended aspects for the spiritual and the physical needs of our communities. As we pray, Tichinamat, Tovaka Patino Namatira, the Patino Farida, Pakanaka Kudai, Jehovah no Fara. Further, this project demonstrates to us that the church, P 
PhD ministries is working in the understanding of our national development philosophy that Nika Inovakwa Igo Tomba Igo Namatiba Never Never Muri Kuba Kanika Yamuno Tonga Muchi Namatira Imwe Never Sakandos were three quitters, it was a room bit. I have seen that Prophet Magaya Munwa Kabvakuban and that PhD ministries Ikereke Yemuno Munika Yedu Zimbabwe. Dance Wakuti Zose Zripana Makavoka Makava Kamoka Amuna Kumbo Kumbira Mariku Vamiri Kamakumba. Hallelujah. He kind of a whenever. As a people, we must believe in ourselves and transition from the straight jacket models of development by adopting local and relevant strategies to modernize, industrialize, and grow both our economy and our livelihoods. We should not look at internally, we should not look at internally driven development initiatives as being inferior to those from outside. Musa Shuva Supavamwe. So, a miracle of Makum. Baka is any Mugos Shuva, says any. Our media, the more commoners can be very bong. He is also aged to report honestly about the commendable development milestones in our country and at this place. Many people, including myself until today, did not know that we have such an impressive infrastructure here in waterfalls. I see me when you're in my media. Come on, Mr. Gavis, you know, here. Muchita Zaku Potorama, Pikicha, Moisa, my paper to Spona, Kuzomira, and Asidavia Kuno, so die. All of us, both here at home and in the diaspora, have a role to play in building the Zimbabwe World want. In this particular instance, sports development must never be the responsibility of the central government alone. As umwe ne umwe pakati pedu chero kwati nenge tiri wana chauno ita kana chamuno ita chamche ebukwa bomaenda kuti pambona ningi kwitra kuti kana mukoma na wangu magaya akainde kana pa gwata keto tsaira. Kwete kutikana wende kubaru mera mkwa. Nukuti apana shaku ye mkwa. I further challenge more of our citizens, sports persons, and the private sector players to take up opportunities in this sector towards developing 
modern sporting facilities. Just look at this. This is a private, individual, sector-driven project. Hallelujah. And congratulations. It is praiseworthy that this stadium was constructed in keeping with international best practices, including guidelines of the Confederation of African Football and the Federation of International Football. I'm happy. It is my expectation that this hot stadium will attract high level sporting events. This is critically important as modern sporting infrastructure goes a long way to enhance the quality and the standards of our sporting disciplines and ultimately impacts the overall performance of our national teams. So, we as government, what have we done? And we are planning. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. On their part, our sports personalities must recognize the weighty responsibility entailed by wearing the Zimbabwe jersey, no matter the discipline, they must guard against a license fair and a casual approach to sport. We expect our national teams to be self-driven and to win international fixtures. Talent and hard, honest work must be rewarded. And the best players must be given the opportunity to represent our country. Abanda kutara kuneva no saruza bana noti mirira. Ako na kusaruza shamari mutema kuchukoromos. Kana kuti pande suwe samuno zibe gana maso. Aiwa talent must be rewarded. On merit. We must also ensure that the right building blocks are put in place for highly competitive local leagues towards strengthening our community sports structures across all disciplines. I thus call on stakeholders to support strong junior leagues and the setting up of sporting academies as the bedrock for competitive sports in our country. Zimonyeka zino tamitambo ya tichiyevera shiti wanenge waka waka zukuti wanavabu watrene mzumbu zaka kodzera. Isunga ati tebo isozo. Saka ndino fara ndi chibona kuti za gazi lwa pana baba wa makaya. Baba, ndi mwote baba ina ndi baba. Mwana, makaya. Kutsi gira mapase urumende. 
Then they were cut one day. One of the Basaka died. Nike doing kind and berry go buddy leader. Look at it, yet never facilities. Oh, to my never come and never scan up and never talents. Abo Vashaine. To this end, I challenge the prophetic healing and deliverance ministries to swiftly roll out the plans to expand the stadium to accommodate more fans. But my government is up to 5,000. In some areas, we think big. In other areas, we think small. Which is more than 5,000. Manakira check a pagaita pano. It might be a question of space. But I think uh, Prophet Magaya find a way could uh, stand there and accommodate more than 5,000. At least he can accommodate 20,000. You know, we no funga yoka kukai tam tambo kuno kuneva and five thousand shit unandi koka unandi koka was kana was twenty thousand shit am sore over the am daranga we. However, the high quality standards already set must be maintained. These must include corporate boots. An attractive ambience, a tartan track and lounges, among other supporting infrastructure. In fact, as I told, I realized that all these things he already has begun implementing. Local authorities are called Mayor Local authorities are called upon to facilitate to facilitate the development of this project and the similar initiatives. Mayor, aspects such as accommodation, accessibility and health facilities should be incorporated in development projects of this nature. And I'm happy that this has been done. Meanwhile, we are thankful to Prophetic Healing and Deliverance Ministries for availing the stadium and the complementing facilities to serve the entire sporting fraternity. My, my minister, Dr. Kes Coventry, told told me about this facility. You can go to Chumoya. I see Chokpadi is behind the woods. Could we have this state of the art facility in waterfalls? In fact, from now on, I would want my minister to make sure either to match this quality of facility or exit never belong. This is critical as sport is an important enabler for sustainable development and it helps promote social cohesion, tolerance and respect. Furthermore, the impact of sport in the empowerment of women and the youth must never be overlooked. I challenge our young people to scale up their involvement in the programs offered through the Ministry of Sports, Recreation, Arts and Culture right from the community level. Comrades and friends, ladies and gentlemen, the sport and recreation industry has become a notable driver of economic growth. Through enhanced country image, 
sports tourism, meetings and conferences. In view of the immense potential of the sector, my government will continue to take all practical steps and measures to facilitate and encourage sporting and recreational activities across the country and amongst all age groups. In concluding, I urge us all to continue marching forward in unity as we build our beloved motherland Zimbabwe, brick by brick and stone upon stone. Once again, I thank you, Prophet Walter Magai and the congregants of PhD Ministries for contributing to our national development priority areas. These facilities developed by the private sector, in this particular case by your church. May I, on behalf of the people of Zimbabwe and the government, and indeed on my own behalf, congratulate you for this vision. The determination leadership you have demonstrated through this noble initiative stands as a beacon for others to follow. I urge you personally and collectively as a church to remain inspired by the word of God. In the Galatians chapter 6, Verse 9. And I quote, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good. Tisaneta quita shakanak. Ishoko benyuri. Shoko benyuri. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Ukaita Kanatikaita Mabasa Kanaka Tichakoa Zakanaka Mberi Tisaneta Kwita Zakanaka. May the Almighty God continue to open more opportunities for you and your church to impact our communities and the nation at large. Every Sunday, the Nomuka Dobamara and a seven. Ah, it's a good information on Shatta or in Guba. Queen Dakundo Zorora. Fan <laughs> Pandi pas rora kadari kaku mbos randi ndeka. Andi tu kora mbas zoko ra anu asikwa nasi na far. My dear countrymen and women, brothers and sisters, with these remarks, it is now my singular honor and privilege to declare the prophetic healing and deliverance ministries project, the Hutt Stadium, officially commissioned in Auburn. Congratulations, Makorokoto, I'm so, 
God bless you all. God bless Zimbabwe. I thank you.